everyone, and welcome to another musical mornings. Um, we are very, oh, we're not starting yet. Now we're starting. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> welcome to another musical morning. And today we are going to be making some maracas. So this is my special one that I just made right before we started. I bet yours can be even more beautiful because you might use some more decorations on yours. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to do that, and we're going to be having some fun with, um, we'll play with them a little bit. So to make your paper bag maraca, it's pretty simple. You need a paper bag. I'm probably going to make two of them today, so I have one in each hand. So you can grab two paper bags. This is like a lunch bag. You can also use a McDonald's bag or something if you had some carry out lately, but that works really well. You also need some kind of something that's gonna make a sound. So I'm using beans, beans, <laughs> um, that are not cooked, obviously. You could also use popcorn or even paper clips or buttons, anything you have around the house that's kind of small <laughs> um, and will make, a, will make a shaky sound when you, when, whoop, when you, <laughs> when you shake it. Um, if, I, I probably would not use like rice or something, something really, really small, because I'm just afraid that when this bag eventually breaks, which it probably will, it's gonna make a great big mess. And we don't really want that. All right, but this is pretty simple. So let's try beans and a paper bag, and you're gonna need some kind of tape. I'm using duct tape, and this tape is kind of cool. It's got like fins on it. I think it's kind of pretty. Um, so we'll be using tape. And then I brought some markers. Uh, maybe you have stickers or markers or um, crayons or anything that you want to use to decorate your, your bag. So, oh, Ginger has some Easter egg stickers. Look at that. I didn't know those were here. Those are kind of cool. So we'll take, um, we'll take a minute to take your, if you have this, go ahead and take your bag and take a marker and start drawing any kind of pictures on it. So I'm gonna draw like music notes and things like that. You can use lots of different colors. You can also just draw shapes. Um, you can draw an actual picture. It doesn't really matter, whatever you like. And take your time um, and just see what you can come up with. You can draw anything that music makes you think of. You can draw a sun or um, a beach. <laughs> I'd like to go to the beach. I'm ready to go. Um, if you're interested and if you're kind of waiting, um, I can show you how to draw a treble clef, which is kind of a neat, a neat thing. So if you're going to draw something like that, it's very musical. And if you're big enough to, to really draw your letters, then you're big enough to draw a treble clef. Um, to make a treble clef, you draw one line down whoop, like that. And then you make one kind of little small backwards C going this way, a backwards C like that. And then you make a great big, big C the other way, big C. And then my favorite part is you get to do a, a like a snail shell, like a spiral goes like that. <laughs> so that's a fun kind of thing to practice. This one doesn't look too great because I did it backwards in the camera. <laughs> So it doesn't look as good as this one, but that's how you do it. So let's do it on this side. Big line, a little backward C, big regular C, spirally, spirally, spiral. So that's kind of fun if you're able to learn how to do that. Um, Ginger's still working on her coloring. Maybe you're still working on your coloring at home. But while you're working on that, I'm going to show you the next part. Are you ready? So it's really simple. You open up your bag and then you want to make sure that there's a lot of air in it so you're going to blow like this. Which is really good to do also if you're a little anxious about how things are going on. Um, so you have to have kind of um, this air inside. Then you take just a handful of beans. You don't need a lot. Just a handful. And let them rain on in there. And close it up. And you close it up by just squeezing the top. Which is pretty fun. Ginger's is so pretty. She's over here putting beautiful dots and everything on hers. Um, then you're going to take some tape. You don't need a whole lot of that either. Just, you know, give your head size. And kind of starting at the bottom of the 
of where you squished. You put the tape around. It spirals up, spirals up, spirals up, 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 up. And so then you finally have a uh, shaker. So Ginger's going to work on hers here. And then maybe even if you want to finish decorating it afterwards, there's this really cool space here you can put some stickers on maybe. So I'll do that. A little bit more interesting. Kind of just, you know, how do you like it? Oh, that sticker didn't stick very So Ginger, let's see how she's doing. She's putting her beans in, doing a doing a big squish there, taking her tape. <laughs> And making the tape go round and <laughs> this tape didn't stick very well. It goes round and round, round and round, and round. That part you might want to get a grown up to help you with. It's it, it's easy for the tape to get a little out of control there. So now we each have one. And. If you have one at home, I can show you a few ways to play with it. Or we can make a second one. What do you want to do? Do you want to make another one first? Let's make another one. All right, we're going to make another one just to make sure. Um, and then you have one for each hand, and that's that's the best thing. So we're going to skip the decorating part just to show you how to do it. So you open the bag, blow into the bag. This is my favorite part. Put a couple of beans in. You see the little handful? Not too many. Let them rain in there. <laughs> Close your bag up by squeezing the top. Take your tape. You don't need a whole lot. On the bottom. And just wrap that tape around so you have a little handle to hold on to. Just like that. So now we have two maracas. What are these They're kind of loud. I wonder how loud they are on the screen. I hope they're not too loud for you. Ooh, they're pretty loud to me. So we've got Ginger's getting her tape situated. It really is a good thing to see you can get some, a parent to help you with that part, probably. Excellent. All right. So let's see. You can take them high. You can take them really low. You can take them on one side. On the other side. Can you play it right next to your ear? Play it right next to your other ear. You can tap them together. Kind of make it down. <laughs> um, let's see, what else can you do? Um, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to show you some different things. So let's try this poem with me. You can do it at home. It goes like this. Um, shake, shake. One, two, three. Shake, shake. Just like me. Shake. One, two, three, shake, shake, just like me. Shake up high. One, two, three, shake up high, just like me. Shake up high. One, two, three, shake up high, just like me. Shake down low. One, two, three, shake down low, just like me. Shake down low. One, two, three, shake down low, just like me. Shake real fast. One, two, three, shake real fast. Shake real slow. One, two, three. Shake real slow. Just like me. Shake real slow. One, two, three. Shake real slow. Just like me. If your shaker's getting a little floppy like Ginger's is, all you need to do is hold it a little bit higher. That's okay. Um, sometimes maybe that's just if you didn't get quite enough air in it. You just hold it higher. It's okay. There you go. Perfect. Um, oh, shake in a circle. One, two, three. Shake in a circle. Just like me. Shake in a circle. One, two, three. Shake in a circle. Just like me. Perfect. That was so fun. I actually have some music for you to get. So if you have your shakers ready, um, I'm going to play some music, and Ginger and I are going to dance with our shakers, and you can dance and hold with your shakers. So you can do my moves, or you can do your own moves. But here comes, this is A Midsummer Night's Dream by, Ooh, is this is Mendelssohn's. Thank you. 
I'll put some shaking music on our um, Spotify playlist so you can play with that or you can just pick any of our songs and, and dance and shake to them. That's really fun. All right. Are you ready for the hand washing song? Yes. We cannot do this without that. All right. Here are our hands. Soap, soap, soap your hands. Soap your hands together. Soap, soap, soap your hands. Soap your hands together. La 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 Rinse, rinse, rinse your hands, rinse your hands together. Rinse, rinse, rinse your hands, rinse your hands together. La 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 Dry, dry, dry your hands, dry your hands together. Dry, dry, dry your hands, dry your hands together. La 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 all right. Thank you all for joining us today. I hope you had a good time. We'll be back um, on Monday with some new live stuff coming up. Tomorrow, we're going to play one of our very favorites that we've done that you may have missed. So be sure to check that out. And um, yeah, I hope you have a great weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye.